Hey y'all, my name is Rico. I am Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's camera shy, but it's okay. It's our first it's our first episode, our first video, so he's gonna get more comfortable. Uh-huh. So I'm gonna introduce myself first. My name is Rico. I've been on T for pretty much eight months now. And um, we're living in Austin, Texas, and I'm 25, about to be 26. Sam, tell them about yourself. Hi, I'm Sam. I've been on testosterone for a year and eight months now. And I also live in Austin. <laughs> what am I supposed to say? <laughs> that's, that's plenty. That's plenty. Oh, wait, how old are you? Oh, yeah, I'm 21. <coughs> cool. So what are we going to do? What is our, our segment about? Uh, so we're doing um, the ABCs of trans, which is basically going to be us discussing the different things that being on testosterone can cause for trans masculine uh, individuals as well as uh, masculine non non-binary individuals. Um, yes. So it's ABC. So there's going to be 26 weeks of this. So basically six months of videos, and we'll do <coughs> one a week. <laughs> so today we're doing A, and um, we're going to talk about accepting identity, anger, being on T, and acne. Yay! So accepting identity. Do you want to start about your experience? Oh, you can go ahead. Okay. So for me, I guess it took me, it took me quite a while to finally say out loud that I was trans. For years, it started as me saying I was genderqueer. Uh, I think, yeah, I was in college where uh, I just realized something, like there was a huge disconnect with me. And um, then I heard the term genderqueer and that, that related to me a lot because I would go months like being perfectly fine in my own body. And then a couple months later, I just hated everything about myself. So since, since I was touch and go, I felt genderqueer really fit. But like years passed and it's still, like I was having more and more dysphoria. And then moving to Austin, I lived in Florida at the time, I got to like meet trans people which I have never met a trans person until I moved to Austin. And uh, just seeing people comfortable in their own bodies and just being around trans is like, shit, okay, maybe, maybe I'm not just genderqueer. Maybe I am trans. And I think it also took dating a trans person, a trans guy. Uh, we kind of both realized that about ourselves within our relationship. And I got to see him be more like, open and like fast about it, like shit, okay, I'm trans, I'm, I need to meet trans people and see their experience. And that's actually how I met Sam. I was through my ex. And uh, yeah, just seeing him move like into it so quickly and like open about it, it's like shit, I need to really like look within myself and be able to like say out loud I was trans. And it wasn't until, fuck, maybe a year ago that I was like, able to say, Okay, Rico, you're not genderqueer, you're trans, you're trans, you're trans. And then, like, as soon as I was able to say it, it just felt right. So that's just me accepting my identity as trans. How about you? Uh, I have a pretty similar story. I was dating somebody, um, and when we first started dating, we both identified as lesbians. But in our relationship together, we both realized at about the same time that we both identified as genderqueer and gender fluid. And so uh, we lived that way for probably about a year and a half together and we both split ways. And now we're both trans individuals, but I guess I didn't really feel, realize that I was trans until I started doing drag here in Austin. I performed as a drag king for about a year. And um, I guess while performing as a drag king, I realized that I just felt more comfortable when people saw me as male, and I realized how happy it made me to be referred to as male pronouns, um, to be referred to as Sawyer versus you know my dead name, um, and I just realized like a sense of like euphoria when people saw me as male and res like like respected me as such, and so after doing drag for that amount of time and like coming out as trans, I stopped doing drag just to focus on my transition and that's when I like fully accepted that I wanted to follow through with it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. It's just important to 
for everybody to know that we've all kind of share similar stories where like we're like okay well this doesn't fit so we all generally come out generally come out as non-binary or gender some fear, sense yeah um first and if you feel like that's where you're at right now where you're like in this in between where you don't know if you're non-binary or, or trans then it's okay to feel that way and it's okay to ask questions and it's okay to question yourself and to figure out if you really are trans and yeah, that it really isn't a race a lot of people think it's a race yeah but that happens i noticed like within the trans community like, community like trans guys that like start to eat uh, quicker than someone else like you know it's like oh, i need to get going but it's not a race you know? yeah no you can definitely take your time ask questions ask other people in your community ask us like whatever you want to do, but know that you are valid and know that it's okay and know that most of us have been there mm -hmm. sometime in our life. Yeah. Yeah. So anger? Anger. Anger, are we gonna, I guess, anger when being on TV, right? Yes, because it is definitely, I, I know it on some a lot of Facebook groups I, I see that the question pops up a lot, uh, does your anger worsen when you are on testosterone? Or is it a myth? Or is it a myth? Um, it's not. It's <laughs> not a myth. It's not a myth. Um, a lot of things change when you're on testosterone. I think people try to focus too much on the physical and don't understand how much it's really going to change you emotionally and mentally because it it really does. I was a completely different person two years ago before I started testosterone. Um, I am a married man and I started testosterone with my wife and uh, about six months into our relationship when I was well I, I guess I would six months in our relationship I was about three months on key and my anger definitely started getting worse and I noticed we were fighting a lot more and it caused a lot of relationship problems uh, we struggled for about three months so from three months on tea to six months on tea my anger was the worst it ever was um, and I guess at first I didn't realize it. I just thought that we were just fighting, but it took time for me to realize that it really wasn't testosterone. It wasn't us. It was just something that I needed to realize that was going on. I needed to realize that it was my hormones and that way we could talk about it and, um, we could figure out a game plan. So if I ever felt like, okay, like I know that my T levels are high. I know that I'm feeling angry. I know that we need to like take a break from this and walk away. And I think that honestly that has been like the saving grace of our relationship is like just understanding like, okay, you know, it's the day after my shot or it's two days before my shot and my hormones are off the wall and I just need to like take a break from this. I love you and I'll come back. And yeah. that's definitely what saved me. I was going to ask, it, don't you feel more angry by the day after your shot or the day yeah. of? Or what is it for you? Uh, for me, it's the day after. Um, but that does change based on what kind of testosterone you take. So when I was on uh, gel, um, for however short amount of time I was on it, um, the gel, I noticed it was same day, and injections are the day after. Typically, that's when it hits your system the most, like when actually like, it's fully in like, your bloodstream for me. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, it, um, it's just I, I, I've always been an angry person. Like, I get angry easily. I don't think it's changed, but the people in my life think... <laughs> that I've been more angry, but I don't know. I think uh, that it's not as much as like how much you get angry. If you're an angry person, they might stay the same. I think it's always been about how much it escalates and how you react to a situation you might get angry at and how you cope with it. I think that that's definitely what can change. So like before when you would get angry, like it would Escalate, but now like you go from like zero to ten real quick. Oh shit! Sorry, <laughs> I mean, Sorry about it. I, I think that that's just something that people that are gonna start testosterone have to learn to recognize about themselves. They have to learn to recognize like, okay, I am way too angry at this moment. This is not something I should be this angry about. I need to just like calm down. I need to take a second. I need to breathe. Go smoke yeah. a cigarette. Go do something. Go have a beer, and then I'll be okay. Yeah, true. Yeah. True. So another A. <laughs> Which I had a lot to talk about. It's fucking acne from taking tea. Uh, yeah, from uh, starting tea and up to three months, my skin was at normal, right? I was like, sweet. I didn't get the acne that everyone talks about that you get when you start taking tea, right? Fucking four months in or whatever, hit me like a ton of bricks. 
and I have spent a couple hundred dollar, dollars now on prescriptions to try to fix this mess. And uh, yeah, nothing's working. Uh, I've taken pills, I've done gel. Um, yeah, and it's still the same. And I pretty much I've come to the conclusion I just gotta wait it out. But uh, yeah, so it hit me at four months in. At five months to seven months where I'm at now, it has gotten really bad. Gone on my neck, it looks like I have a fucking, you know, like, like you shave all fucked up. Oh know. yeah, razor burn? Yeah. <laughs> How about you if you're at me? <laughs> it's not as bad, I right? Think, no, it's definitely not as bad, and I want everybody to know that's about to go on testosterone. I was thinking about it, that this does not always happen, and that there are ways Fine, I'm just salty. I'm so no, fucking very salty. <laughs> it, it does affect people in different ways. Um, not everybody's gonna get acne. Some people will continue to have like clear skin. Um, I guess it depends on how you were before. Yeah, uh, I, I never really struggled with acne during like my first puberty, and now I have more than I used to. But it's mostly like I, I get it on my shoulders a little bit. Um, I've noticed that the only place that I really struggle with it right now is like where my facial hair is coming in, and that really really sucks so it's just a matter of making sure you really clean your face and clean your beard and clean you know, I hope everything i hope that's true because if that's the fact i'm gonna have a full fucking beard right I, you, already have, like, you, already, you already kept getting off on me so quick so I'm <laughs> um but yeah so don't freak out and think that you're just gonna get a, a face full acne because it doesn't always happen and there are ways to fix it, you just have to find the one that works for you. Rico, unfortunately, has not found it yet. No, I don't but think he will, and I'm hopeful for him. He's just salty. I think the That's hormones okay. will be anything. You know what I mean? No matter how much money I spend on prescriptions. But yeah, I've don't, accepted it now. Don't. Accepted it. Don't. Huh. Don't make them sad. <laughs> don't make them sad. And this is real pre-tea kids, okay? You might have a lot of freaking them out. <laughs> no, no, it's true. <laughs> You'll have acne and you'll die. You'll Don't die. take tea. <laughs> Don't take tea, okay? <sighs> We're editing that. Out. <laughs> no. This is bloopers. Yeah. Bloopers? Yeah. Bloopers. Bloopers. <laughs> bloopers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's all the A's that I need, that I want to talk about. Yes. Um, I think that that is good for A's. Cool. So next week will be B. And what is B? I don't know. Oh, my phone. Know. It's recording. Oh, yeah. Phone <laughs> probably recording. binding. I, I think we were going to talk about binding, but it also is going to be something else. And if anybody else has anything that they want to ask us about that starts with a B, feel free to message us or comment and ask, and we will yeah. do our best to cover it the best way we can. Cool. Cool. So that's it for AIDS. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, check out our social media down below. We're going to have links to. <laughs> things <laughs> that you should click. Things. That you should click. Yes. <laughs> click on it. Be our friends. We need friends. Yeah, we do. Obviously, we this suck. is the only one I got. Yeah. Shit. We we really out yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Share with your friends so we can make even more friends because we need all the friends we can get. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>